because I actually advocate for men not being stepfathers. And that's not because I don't think stepfathers are great. I just think that you get a lot of the responsibility and a little bit of the reward as somebody who's done it and somebody who has two of his closest friends who have done it. And a lot of the time, the outcomes are the same. Being a stepfather, there used to be a time where it was an honorable task. Raising another man's child, there used to be a time where you used to, you used to get rewarded for that type of stuff. People used to see you as a very honorable man. Now, in these days and times, this kind of a thankless task, being a stepfather, raising someone else's daughter. Like you heard, the guy has paid out of his pocket. He's paid out of his time. He's paid out of his energy, paid out of his love for his stepdaughter, only for her to go and put her dad's name on the invite and her mum's name on the invite biologically. And I cannot fault that child. That child has a biological father and has a biological mother. Yo, I've seen the full video, by the way. Have you seen the full video? No. It's longer than that. Oh, yeah? There's a lot more to it than that. Go on. The dad isn't around, full stop. Brother, it do- this is what I'm trying to say to you. It doesn't matter. The stepdad every- is paying for the wedding. Every- yeah, I know, but the stepdad's paying for it. But every child knows who their father is and they long for their biological parents. And so this is why I'm talking about being a stepdad is a thankless task. It doesn't matter how much of a good man you are. It seemed like he was a really good man. It doesn't matter how much of a good man you are. It doesn't matter how much money you put in. It doesn't matter how much um, uh, effort you put in. You're never that child's father. It's just not who you are. And a lot of the time being a stepfather you're always going to be reminded like he was. He was reminded that he's not their biological father. Doesn't matter how much time and effort that he put in. Doesn't matter how much money he put in. He was never going to be her father. So I always advocate for men to not be a stepdaddy. And as a, as a man who actually has a child, the difference between men and women is that as a man, I'm not looking for a woman to be a stepmother to my child. Um, I don't need her to come in and say, hi, I'm your new mommy, blah, blah, blah. But when women who have had children or child are looking for new men, right, what happens is that they're looking for a stepdaddy, okay? And as you saw, being a stepdaddy can be a very thankless task. It can be something that isn't worth it. I know that two of my closest friends who one was, uh, one raised another woman's child for 12 years, one raised another woman's child for seven years. They no longer speak to that woman or the children, but they put in all of that time and effort. I raised a child that wasn't mine for 10 years. I don't even speak to that child anymore. When, when it's time to break up with that woman, it's like a double breakup. You break up with the woman and you break up with the child or children. And it's a harsh reality for a lot of men and that's not to say that there aren't great single mothers out there because I think that there are I know a couple you know I know a couple of great single mothers out there but for a man it's just not the ideal situation